for any entrepreneur to start out a business and also have a family or a large family to also take care of. It's like having two businesses. So if you have that subsidy or that assistance that can keep one manageable while you risk and venture out on the other, it makes that risk that much, not easier, but you know what I mean, that much uh, stress-free. We decided to open Fresh Fuel because there was nothing like it in Lindsay. So the concept of Fresh Fuel happened July 2015. We're always on the go because we have four kids. And to try to find something like a healthy option or something quick on the go that, that isn't as bad as, as what's always out there, there was no options. My wife Leanna and I decided to apply for basic income because, well, our accumulated income was lower now that we decided to open our own business. Having four children and a house and every other bill that comes with it is a struggle at our age. Opening the business, it didn't, it didn't change. It just became a different struggle. The basic income has been a blessing to us because it, it allows us to not really worry much about the home front because we know that that's covered and we can focus on the business and kind of build that up. I'll just get the one bag of strawberries. Okay. So we're at National Grocers, basically like a wholesale uh, grocery store here in Lindsay. We come here to get most of our stuff. Just the price value is better for the quantities that we get. We pretty much come here like every day. Everyone says, how do you work together? And I'd be like, how do I not work with him? Yeah. Like, that's oh. all we've known. Two capital L's on the end of fuel, the end and Lewis. Kind of puts our little trademark on it. It's a business in the community. How are you? Good, thanks. I feel like it's important to be a part of the community. Once basic income came to Lindsay, we noticed that our customers were spending more money and we have more people coming in day in and day out. We've had great feedback from the community. We've been nominated for different awards. We've won new business of the year. We purchased a food trailer and we just have to <laughs> give it a full makeover. By the end of the summer, we're gonna be in the Lindsay Fair, and then next year we'll go full force with our Fresh Fuel food trailer. Because we weren't busy enough. Yeah. When people come in, they ask if we're a franchise, that's like the biggest compliment anyone can ever give, just because that's where I feel we'll be in a few years. I think anybody who opens a business, I might give them the most respect just because it's, it's a risk. And being new, newer business owners, we have that debt that we incurred to open the business. Absolutely. So, so we have all that, you know, we're trying yeah. to pay off at the same time as, as paying all our bills and paying, you know, our staff and, and trying to Yeah, and, and, and being, you know, young parents. Okay, but about the hope, we all bought it. I'm an immigrant and I came here when I was nine years old. There's a big stigma on being on any sort of assistance. The last thing I want is for someone to say, took advantage of something. You know, we're hardworking people and we live and die by that. This is our blood, sweat, and tears that are, that are making this business grow. I feel this program can assist a lot of people that come with great ideas or have great ideas that just need that little bit of you know, safety net to take that leap of faith. We started this business without basic income. The pressure for us to succeed, we have four children that remind us every day to succeed, so that's never gonna change. Basic income or no basic income, we owe it to them to make this successful.